Okay, so now we are in the last chapter, Biogeochemical Cycles. We learned about ecosystem and we also learned how the environmental pollution is disturbing an ecosystem. So we have seen the link and we can understand the basic root causes how an environmental pollution affect the ecosystem if we understand these biogeochemical cycles. So what are these biogeochemical cycles? What is a chemical cycle? Chemical cycle. So what is a cycle? This is absolutely not the two wheeler that you use that you ride. It is not the cycle. So the chemical cycle is a sequence of reactions or a sequence of changes which happen in a cyclic way. Let me give you one example for the chemical cycle. In the atmosphere, there is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is there in the air, 0.04% of carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants. What do the plants do with carbon dioxide in a process of photosynthesis? They prepare the food that is the glucose. So the food is taken up by the animals and they use up the food for energy and they leave out the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now this is a series of reaction. See the carbon dioxide is changing its state and it is moving from one location to another location from air to body of plant, from body of plant to animal body, from the body of animal it enters into the air again. So this is a cycle. What cycle it is? It is a chemical cycle because we are talking about some chemical carbon dioxide. So we call it as a chemical cycle. Can we call this chemical cycle as biogeochemical cycle? We can say that this is a biochemical cycle because here the carbon dioxide is passing through the living things and atmosphere. So biochemical cycle we can say. It is coming into the air, atmosphere. So atmosphere is a part of the earth. So you can say that this is biogeochemical cycle. In certain cycles, the earth also takes part, the soil also takes part. So that also you can more clearly say that biogeochemical cycle. So I gave this example to understand what is the cycle. Cycle means a series of reactions, a series of changes which takes place in a cyclic way. That is a cycle. So here the biogeochemical cycles means it is a chemical cycle in which bio living things geo earth or atmosphere air they become a part of the cycle living things are a part of cycle earth or atmosphere is a part of cycle which repeatedly continuously happens in the nature naturally that is a biogeochemical cycle so in an ecosystem we find that biotic and abiotic components an ecosystem contains biotic components abiotic components so these biotic and abiotic components interact with each other. The biotic components, they get the nutrients or required materials from the abiotic components. So these abiotic components are the sources of the nutrients or minerals. So they are taken up by the biotic forms. Again from the biotic form, they reach the abiotic forms. So it happens in a cyclic process. There is a continuous interaction between the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem. So the ecosystem is dynamic, that means always the change happens. Carbon dioxide from the air enters into the body of plants. From the plants it goes to animals and after the death of the animal or when the animal respires, that carbon dioxide goes out of the animal body into the atmosphere, so it comes back. Even though it is dynamic, it is stable. So anytime you see the percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere is 21%. So it is stable. But can you say that uh, the oxygen is not uh, moved from atmosphere, not taken by atmosphere, uh, taken from atmosphere? No, it is dynamic. That means the oxygen is continuously being abused by the organisms. But its percentages remains constant. How it happens? It is 
even though it is a dynamic even though it is ever changing it is stable so that is maintained in nature unless until it is disturbed by some pollutant so when there is a pollution when a particular component of a biogeochemical cycle at a particular point accumulates a lot then it disturbs the cycle so that is how pollution disturbs the ecosystem so in this chapter we are going to uh, study about these biogeochemical cycles different biogeochemical cycles how the elements the chemicals are moving from one state to another state one chemical form to another chemical form one place to another place chemicals are coming from atmosphere to the living things that is carbon dioxide is coming from the air to the plant body nitrogen phosphorus they are coming from the soil to the plant body again from the plant they go to the animal again from the animal again they come back to the soil nitrogen urea and everything comes back to the soil and certain uh, gases like carbon dioxide oxygen escapes into the atmosphere so they are changing their state they may be changed from one state to another state they may be moved from one component to another component they may be exchanged between two living things or they may be exchanged between two non living things they may be exchanged between one non living thing and other living thing so that kind of exchange takes place their chemical form may be changed so at some places they may be in the form of an element in some cases it may be in the form of an uh, compound so that is the biogeochemical cycle so by in biogeochemical cycles the chemicals they change their state chemical form or their location continuously but it will happen repeatedly in a cyclic manner and their percentages are almost maintained at a stable uh, values unless until they are disturbed by the pollutants okay so now let us see what type of uh, biogeochemical cycles that we are going to study in this lesson so uh, about which chemicals we are going to talk there are so many biogeochemicals in nature but here we are learning the biogeochemicals which are in connection with the ecosystem that is to that living forms biotic components plants and animals actually we are studying about the chemical cycles of chemicals which play an important role in forming the structure of living things so do you know by what the living things are made the constituent elements you might have studied that cell is the basic unit of structure uh, basic structural and functional unit of life whether it is a plant or animal or microorganism whatever anything you say it is living it is made up of cells we know that we are talking about chemicals now we are not talking about the fundamental unit so still more what is that fundamental unit made up of what is the cell made up of you may tell that cell is made up of the cell organelles so that is not the answer with what the cell organelles are made up of so in our body everything anything in our in a living system whether a plant or an animal it is made up of things like carbon uh, sorry uh, it is made up of carbohydrates carbohydrates proteins fats and proteins and amino acids fats and fatty acids vitamins minerals 